Chris Hardwick, and this is Careers in Wired Science. This is Andy Jacobson. He's a geochemist, which, as you may have figured out, is a career in Wired Science. We're here at Northwestern University, and uh, why don't you tell us what kind of a scientist you are? Well, I'm a professor in the Earth and Planetary Sciences Department here at the university. I specialize in a number of areas of study. Um, one of them is called isotope geochemistry. Okay. Another one is called aqueous geochemistry, and yet a third is called uh, geomicrobiology. And basically the focus of my research is to understand chemical, physical, and biological processes that cycle elements and their isotopes at the Earth's surface in the modern day and throughout geologic time. And with this kind of toolkit, we can attack a number of, of different problems of importance to sort of academic geological questions as well as those of relevance to society. Let's just say I bring you a rock and I say, I want to know how old this rock is. What do, you, what do you do with it? Take it back into the clean laboratory, digest it, basically dissolve it in, in really strong acids, mm -hmm. uh, collect the uh, analyte of interest, the element that we want to measure, load it onto a filament, um, and then put it in our mass spectrometer and, and make the measurement. Are there elements that we have yet to discover? Oh, think? absolutely. There's a whole renaissance occurring right now in the field of isotope geochemistry, and, and it's being made possible by advances in the instrumentation that's now available for use. And so there's a whole host of, of, of isotopic systems that we don't even understand yet, and that once we understand them, then they can be applied in, in very interesting ways as tools to probe the Earth system, such as the carbon cycle. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're not there yet. So there's a lot of systems that we need to understand first at a really basic kind of level. So a lot of our research is focused on some really fundamental basic science investigations to improve our understanding of these isotope systems and how they work. And then once we understand how they work, then we can apply them as tools for the kinds of questions that we want to answer. What's your favorite piece of equipment that you get to play with? Well, absolutely, by far the best piece of equipment is a thermal ionization mass spectrometer, uh, which is which is yeah, which I'm sure everyone you know has the same Just the same idea. Mass spectrometer. Yeah, basically, it, it allows us to uh, analyze uh, isotopes of, of elements like calcium, strontium, uranium, thorium, neodymium, samarium, osmium, rhenium, things like so that. So you're, right. you're just spinning stuff around really fast and then seeing what what comes out of it. Well, it's it's a little more complicated than that. So we we take samples from the field, we process them. Um, in the laboratory under, under ultra clean conditions to prevent background contamination. Mm -hmm. And then once we have a purified uh, sample, we load that onto a filament, which is basically like the filament of a light bulb, load, load that into the mass spectrometer, and then, and then make our analysis. So the chemistry, your chemistry background allows you to manipulate the samples, and your geology background allows exactly. you to understand the samples. Exactly. And that's exactly the name of the game. If someone wanted to pursue this field of study, what would you recommend they do? taking courses, of course, in geology, chemistry, biology. I mean, people come into geology from a variety of different, of different pathways, but mm -hmm. it's always good to have a firm grounding in, in, in earth sciences and geosciences in, in general. Um, and forging personal relationships with people who are already in the field, because it's important to, to talk to people, to understand what their day is like, what they actually do, uh, to understand what their career is about, and they can also help you advance your own career. So, you know, as a student, I, I found it really beneficial to, to get to know my professors very well. Unfortunately, I had, I had great access to them. So I try to carry forward that philosophy uh, now that I'm a faculty member here at Northwestern. Is there a favorite part of your job, something you really look forward to about being a geochemist? No, I really like working with students. It's, it's, it's one of my, my favorite, favorite parts of my job. I like, I like seeing them go through the process of discovery for the first time, publishing their first paper, giving their first talk. It's, it's something that's enormously gratifying. Excellent. Well, Andy Jacobson, thank you so much uh, for talking to me. It's a pleasure talking I to you. I appreciate it. Yep.